Hello humans, I'm Yo Schiller, and welcome back to some more Shantae, Half GD Hero. So, for a while now, I've actually beaten this game to 100% completion. In fact, I did it again in under 4 hours, and then beat the game regularly in under 2 hours, and then I showcased both the good and bad endings, but throughout all of this, I've had this hero mode option just sitting on my menu. I have not seen it before, or at least I haven't seen gameplay of it before, so I'm going to go ahead and record it now. My understanding is, all it is, you play the game again, but you start off with some of the dance transformations. So, I'm going to play the entirety of the hero mode, I'm going to showcase the entirety of my walkthrough, playthrough, whatever, and I'm going to split it into about three or four separate parts, just for your convenience. So, I'm just going to fly through the text. If I wanted to skip these cutscenes, I can press plus, but I'm not going to. I'm still going to showcase everything. I'm going to fast forward through it all. I'm not going to read all the text because, one, it's kind of redundant. I've already done a walkthrough of this game, and two, I genuinely don't have the time, especially if I want to showcase all of the hero mode in the span of three or four parts. So, I'm just going to go back through it. I'm pretty much going to give my commentary on what I think of the game as a whole, and I'm going to just experience how this game is if you start off with some of the power-ups, because if I start off with, like, the harpy dance at the beginning of the game, that's already kind of broken, which I guess is the idea. It's going to force me to get certain power-ups in different orders, and it's going to make the game easier and harder at the same time. I don't know if enemies are going to deal double the damage, I don't know if bosses are going to have double the health, I don't know if there are any other differences other than me starting this game with some dance transformations. I mean, obviously I can't use them now because I'm in this opening dream sequence that's supposed to teach me the basic mechanics of the game. But, I'm very curious to see how this plays out because I know other games, especially RPGs, will have New Game Plus mode where you play the game again but you're already whatever level you were when you beat the game and you have all of your magic and power-ups and da 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 RPG stuff. So I'm kind of curious to see how that plays over in a Shantae game. And I don't know if previous Shantae games have had Hero mode? I genuinely don't know. I haven't played previous Shantae games enough to actually experience that, as embarrassing, it, as embarrassing as it is to say. But, we should be in for a good time, and if it's not, well then I, I apologize in advance. But I am going to be Hero mode. I did say that I would cover everything in this game. And I think Hero mode is the last thing that I can do before any additional content comes out. I don't know if there's any unlockables for it because I've already unlocked all the pieces in the art gallery at this point. I already did those two hour and four hour challenges. So I guess maybe in other versions of the game you maybe unlock an achievement. Maybe there is an extra picture that I get and I just don't know about it. But as far as I'm concerned there's no real incentive to do hero mode other than bragging rights. Maybe there'll be something later that gets patched in, but for the time being, this is a 100% walkthrough, so I do want to try things out. This is interesting. So I do start with the Harpy, which I dare say is the most broken power-up of them all. Uh, but I don't have any of the power-ups for these, so like I can't stomp on the flower. Okay, that makes sense. So I still have to go and collect all of the dance transformation power-ups, and then the three secret dance transformations, which are, which are the Bat, Mermaid, and... Uh, Spider, I still have to go and get those. So I'll do that. For now, this whole introduction thing is always going to be the same. I have to go, not to Sky's Hatchery, I have to go to the bathhouse. I have to talk to Bolo, and he's going to be like, Ooh, there's a beautiful lady on the other side of the water. And then I'll go ahead and talk to this beautiful lady on the other side of the water. And then she'll give me a sales receipt, and I have to take that to the item shop. So the game's order will be the same. But other things will be weird, because now that I have this harpy power right off the bat, I can pretty much go to Main Street and immediately get... A fair chunk of power-ups like I can get the waterfall relic I can get some of the heart holders that are there also have to revisit that level later but it's just interesting I am curious to see how this is gonna go and I am curious to see how some boss fights are gonna go because there are a lot of boss fights at least in the beginning that required me to climb things but I don't have to climb those things if I have the harpy so let's see and then yeah I can break these pots over here all right so I'm still gonna have to do some of the tedious stuff I am gonna do 100% hero mode it is gonna happen so I still have to get like 5,000 gems by the end of it all. I'm still going to get all the dance transformations, all the dance transformation power-ups, all the item power-ups, all the other things that make Shantae's hair whip stronger and faster and whatever. I'm going to find all the heart holders. If I have to find the gallery keys again, I'll do so. And then we'll be in for a good treat. So, here we are. Should be good. Uh, it's kind of weird seeing these cutscenes again, because even though I've been replaying the game over and over and over again, I've been skipping them just for the sake of speedrunning purposes. So, this is kind of interesting, just flying through them in this fashion. I am skipping over some of the subtle voice clips that are in the game, but I guess it doesn't really matter. I could skip these cutscenes, maybe I'll do that in later parts, but for the time being, I'm just replaying the story like it's fast-forwarded, and some parts are out of order, I guess. 
All right, so Sky's Hatchery. Hi, Sky. So, another thing I'm curious about then, in theory, I can get, like, all of these gallery keys and heart holders on my first or second go through a level. And then I can talk to the mayor, and then I can get that magical tiara, and then I can have infinite magic. So I can just be broken from an early point of the game. And again, I wonder, what's the incentive of doing hero mode? I mean, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna devote, like, three or four videos to it. But we'll see what happens. I mean, if there is an incentive, then you'll see it here, folks. You'll see why you should complete hero mode. I mean, I'm sure it's just supposed to be extra fun for the whole family, but if there's an unlockable, then I'll be sure to showcase it. If I have to do the whole thing in four hours, then okay, I'll do that on my own accord, and I'll speedrun it and whatever. But as far as I'm concerned, I've unlocked everything already. All right, and then we got to get through this whole thing. I'm not going to let you down. Here's a whistle in case you ever want to leave a level at any time. Yay. Well, hopefully, at least this time around, now that I'm playing hero mode, I can provide more proper gameplay. Because when I initially did this walkthrough, I was still somewhat new to the game. Aside from playing demos, I hadn't played the game before. Most of it was blind. So now that I know what I'm doing, maybe I could actually do a better job. So let's see how broken I am with this harpy power-up, huh? Although, come to think of it, maybe it's not the best power-up to use because cannonballs are going to be shot at me, right? All right, maybe not. Well, so much for showcasing better gameplay. For other parts, I'm sure. For other parts, I'm sure I can showcase some better gameplay. Ah, huh? oh, that's okay. I need the gems anyway. I gotta get to 5,000 or something like that. So, I'm just gonna slowly but surely do it. Though what I imagine will happen is, I'll get the magical tiara so that I'll have infinite magic. I'll get that one dance transformation that turns me into a pot that shoots gems everywhere. And then I'll just farm gems that way. That's how I, that's how I did it in my 100% speed run. And that's probably how I'm going to do it here. And if I do it here, then I'll I'll spare you guys and I'll speed it up or cut it out or something like that. We'll see. For now, I can just climb over this wall with the monkey or the harpy. It's great. <laughs> yeah, and I guess I could do some of these underwater segments too. But I already know I'm going to have to come back to this level later anyway. Because I don't have the mermaid transformation right now. And the mermaid transformation is what I need to even get some of the stuff that's here. So, like it or not, I am going to have to replay some of these levels again. But it should be okay. It should be fun. I mean, so far, this is going to be the same. I don't even have to do these platforming segments because I could just fly over them. But I'm going to do them anyway. I'm going to do them every... I'm going to do them anyway because I know that the second I get comfortable using the Harpy, I'm going to get shot at with a cannonball or some of these enemies are going to throw stuff at me. So, just do what I know. I, uh, I guess I didn't have to swim through this, but it's fine. I'll just, uh, I'll turn into a monkey and I'll hop over it. Yeah! Hey, like that. How do you guys like that? It's me being a monkey in the first chunk of the game. Even though you get the monkey transformation early on anyway. Huh. Alright, at this point I'm just trying to make commentary. I'm just trying to provide commentary for stuff that I've already done numerous times in the game. It would be more interesting, but I guess also more broken if I started off with the hair power-ups too. Or all the heart holders or something. But I get why. I mean, there still has to be some sort of challenge. There still has to be some sort of incentive for me to collect things throughout the game. So I get it. But part of me is curious if there's like a mode in this game where you don't start off with the dance transformations, but you start off with all those power-ups. Or all the heart holders and stuff. That's probably more broken now that I think about it. So maybe that's why they'd rather have you start off with the dance transformations than all heart holders. Because otherwise that would be the same thing as playing the game normally. Just without the incentive to collect anything. <laughs> you would just have every sort of power-up you can have. And just not have the things you need to get through some of the other levels. Like, alright, whatever. I'm just repeating myself at this point. Now we're at the main chunk of Main Street, the exploration segment, as I like to call it. But this, I know I can just fly over. So, right off the bat, I'm going to fly into this top left corner. I'm going to get the Waterfall Relic. That will allow me to climb waterfalls on later levels as the crab or the mermaid, which in this case will be the next level. So let's go ahead and get this. And then the other thing that I want to get while I'm here is that Monkey Bullet power-up. The thing that gives the monkey an actual attack in proper use. So, I'm just fly over all this. Oh, and you're here. Can I do your little side quest now? I have to destroy 30 pirates. I mean, if I can, I'll do it. But otherwise, I know that I'm going to have to come back here anyway because I don't have the elephant stomp power up yet, which I need to get the scrap metal here. I'm going to have to come back here anyway because I don't have the mermaid power up yet, which I'm going to need to get the morpal blade. So I'm going to have to come back here a few times no matter what. But at least I can just skip over it pretty quickly right off the bat. Right, here we go. Here is the monkey bullet. Go ahead and get this. Bada bing, bada boom. Now I can do more stuff with the monkey, even though I can just fly over stuff anyway. But this will be useful toward like the last chunk of the game. Yay! Okay, done and done. Though I guess it will be interesting to see 
how I'd go through things that normally require the monkey bullets with the harpy instead. Also, I can get this heart holder right off the bat. I know it was embarrassing in my main walkthrough. This was like the last heart holder I got, but I'm getting it now. I'm getting it early, like I'm probably supposed to. So hooray! All right, now I want to see if I can do that pirate thing, defeat 30 pirates that come out of the windows. That's that's what I want to investigate right now. So let's go ahead and take a quick look-see. Bada bing, bada boom, hello. Nah, no number counters coming up. So I guess I just can't do this just yet. I don't want to waste my time and defeat 30 pirates if it's not going to do anything. And I'm sh Maybe it does work and the number counters are just not coming up, but just to be on the safe side since I know I have to come back here later anyway. We're going to skip it for now. As for this, I'm just going to fly through this. I feel no need to wait for the platform and I can just speed run through it with this harpy stuff. I don't need to destroy all the pots, but since they're just here, I may as well do so anyway. And when I get that harpy talon attack... I'll probably be I'll probably be destroying pots. Ugh, I can't speak. I'm sorry. I'll probably be destroying pots all over the place. Good. Good. Okay. For now, I'm just gonna keep destroying these tinker bats, these pirates. We should be good to go. Yeah. And then this is like the end of the level right here, right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Now we're gonna do the first boss fight, which should be pretty easy. I have the harpy, so I can just fly to the top of it. This boss fight requires climbing, like I mentioned earlier, but it should be an easy time. Should be good. Alright. Hi, uh, Risky Boots. Again, just gonna quickly breeze through all this text. Don't know if their voice clips are gonna play or not, if I'm going through it this quickly, but whatever. Okay, but yeah, I can kinda hear them, but I'm going through them so quickly that it just gets cut off. It's like, get that! A oh, Risky! Did, did. Lock and load! That! Okay, whatever. So here we go, here's the first boss, Tinker Slug. Don't call it Poop Toot. I don't know if the bosses are tougher or not. I don't think that they are. I'm pretty sure it's just it's just the exact same boss and I have broken power-ups now. So, I shouldn't say broken. They're a natural part of the game, but man, do they make certain things way, way easier. Which I guess is the point, but it's whatever. I still have to wait for Risky Boots to do some attacks before I can hit the bell again. Though, I guess I can't just fly around. I can fly over here if I wanted to, and yep, that's what I get for taunting you. Alright, I understand. Even with all these broken power-ups, I still can't get through this boss fight without taking a hit. I mean, I guess I did do it in my two-hour speedrun. I don't know if there is an achievement, at least in the Wii U version, that gives you any unlockables for not getting hit throughout the entire game. If that exists, I don't think I'm going to go for that achievement, but, you know, if it does exist, I also don't know about it. I don't know that it does exist, so we'll see. Like I said, I already unlocked all the art gallery photos, so I don't really know what other achievements there might be. But I'll beat Hero Mode and we'll find out, huh? Alright, so... Should be like one more hit, right? And then this should be done. Just keep ringing the bell. Excuse me. Thank you. Alright. Here we go. Bada bing, bada boom. There you go. Alright. Dropping down. Attacking the Tinker Slug. That's what I'm talking about. Are we done? Am I quick enough? There we are. Goodbye, Risky Boots. Goodbye, Tinker Slug. Goodbye, first boss of the game. Goodbye, first level of the game. Well, since that went kind of quickly, how about I go ahead and do the second level of the game too, Mermaid Falls? Especially since I can fly through the second portion of that level super quickly as well. In fact, I can fly through the first portion of that level super quickly as well. I keep saying as well. Sorry. All right. Well, even so, this is done. So now that I already have the monkey transformation, I guess I'm not going to go through that genie realm thing that usually appears at the end of these levels. So I guess I just skip it now. Yeah, so I don't have to do that at the end of the levels anymore. I already have the monkey, the harpy the crab, the elephant, so I I would only go through those I would only go through those genie realms when I'm going through a secret area on another level to get a power up for one of them. So we're done with this, already going through the save sequence. Alright, and now we're gonna be back at Uncle Mimic's workshop. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and skip through all this text. And then I'm gonna go ahead and make my way toward Mermaid Falls. Here we go, yep, got the blueprints. Oh yeah, and then I gotta get fired again by this mayor person. Alright, yep, alright, yep, free rent, whatever. Shantae never got free rent. Yep, that's what that text says. Skipping through it. Also, if you hear a garbage truck outside, I'd like to apologize. I understand that this is making things very unprofessional, but I already got started. I'm already in the groove. I'm already in the middle of things. So I'm just gonna try and talk loudly so I can talk over it so that maybe you guys can't hear it. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna get the Mermaid Falls map. And we're just going to continue on with this part like nothing's happening in the background. Nope. No siree. We're good to go. Got my Mermaid Falls map. I can immediately go to the next level. Darn it. Garbage truck. Ah. Going to get me some fireball so I can get some gator steaks right off the bat. 
Gonna get me some pike balls, because that's all I can really buy right now. Oh my goodness. Okay, hang on. Okay, I think the garbage truck is leaving now. I think we're okay. So now, I gotta go through this conversation with Sky, and then the mayor is gonna come in and introduce me to another character who would later turn out to be an antagonist. Spoilers, but what do I care? It's hero mode, and I'm just flying through the text anyway. Hi, this is, uh, what's her name? Holly, thank you. Kind of forgot about her already. Well, there you go. Hi, Holly. Okay, so get through all this. Yada, yada, yada. See you later, Holly. All right. And then when I fly to Mermaid Falls, I gotta go through another cutscene where Shantae talks with Bolo. So it's just cutscenes, cutscenes, cutscenes. Yeah, maybe I will start skipping these in later parts. I don't know. I don't feel much of a... I don't... I guess it would make more sense to skip them than to just sit through all of the text and repeat the information that's going on. So maybe I will do that starting next part. I mean, I've already kind of done things in a sim I've already kind of done things in a specific way with this part, so I may as well continue it for the entirety, or at least for the remainder of this part, because I don't think it's going to go on much longer. So for now, let's go through this text cutscene. Let's talk. Let's have Shantae talk to Bolo. Also, I guess it is kind of interesting. It only just occurred to me that like each of these levels has a cutscene at the beginning, and all these foregrounds and backgrounds are created just for these cutscenes. There's no way to access these areas otherwise. So I guess that that's just extra effort that Way Forward put in, just for these cutscenes to take place. I mean, it looks awesome, and it probably just consists of reused assets from the level that's about to come up. But it is kind of cool knowing that these areas exist just for these small portions of the game, and Way Forward went through their extra effort to put them together. I mean, even Shantae's house at the beginning only appears for like the first 30 seconds of the game and the last 30 seconds of the game, but it only appears at nighttime and daytime, so they animated those separately just for those portions of the game. I think it's cool. Anyway, I figure I may as well go ahead and grab this right off the bat. I'm not going to really be able to get any other sunken souls, but I want to get that one before I forget about it later. Here we go, and then we, get, we have these mermaid enemies, which don't really reward me for defeating them, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm not going to defeat all of them, of course. Alright, so let's see what I can get right off the bat now that I have the waterfall relic and the crab transformation. I, I could go and get the harpy talons. I could go and get the mermaid dance. And I do have the mouse power-up, so I could go through these, but the problem is that I'd have to come back here anyway to, with a lollipop to actually do what I'm supposed to do here with the mouse power-up. I, I could go and get those heart holders. I could go and get gallery keys. I'm going to skip out on those for now since, like I said, I have to come back here anyway. So for now, I do have the harpy talents. Now the harpy is going to be even more broken now that I can fly and attack all on the, all on the same power-up. And then I may as well go ahead and get the mermaid dance which uh actually are there any things i can get down here are th is there hang on is there anything for me to get in the water right now or do i need the mermaid i want to double check this real quickly i think i need the mermaid yep and it's gonna require me to go all the way around right is that what's happening yep all right that's my foolishness i'll i'll accept that i made a grave mistake but it's okay i can get out of here i have three hearts at this point in the game it'll be fine Three hearts, a lot of power-ups, some of which are broken, so I'm not super concerned right now. We should be okay. Alright, so let's just turn into the harpy. Let's fly all the way to the top. Oh, I, I, okay. Even if I wanted to get the heart holder or the gallery keys or whatever, I can't get them at the moment anyway, and I'll showcase why in just a moment. For now, let me go ahead and get this. Let me go ahead and get the mermaid transformation. There we go. Hey, now this is the dance transformation that I like using because it's much better than the crab. I won't get the mermaid bubble until the end of the game, so I won't be able to get the sunken souls or anything else for a while, but at least now I'm a now I'm a pretty mermaid. Anyway, as I was saying, I can't even get the heart holders or the gallery keys from this mouse segment anyway because I don't have the bat power-up. And the bat power-up is what I need to get through this crevice up here. I don't think I can get through it with the harpy. So, we're just going to move on then. We're just going to go to the next portion of the level. We should be good to go. Alright, so this next part of the level has my favorite music in the game. It seems to have a common favorite theme of everyone that's played this game. It just seems to all around be a great song. It's, the song is just called Counterfeit Mermaids. It's great. Unfortunately, I won't be able to hear it long because I'm just going to fly over this segment. I'll be back here later. I will to get the sunken soul that's here and to do everything else, and then I gotta remember at some point I'm gonna get a gator steak. I have to blast these gators with fire. Oh, and I have to come back here anyway with the elephant stomp. So yeah, I'll be back here where we can more thoroughly enjoy the song that's playing here when I'm not talking over it as much. 
for the time being, let me just fly up here. Let me get the bat dance transformation because I'm going to want that. The harpy's broken, but the bat is necessary if I'm going to go for 100% completion. So let's get it. There we go. And then if I can get gems along the way, I may as well... Uh, maybe not every single pot, but maybe like... Uh, I know there's like a big pot toward the top. Here. Let's... You know what? Okay. I gotta get a gator steak anyway. So let's do this. Boom. Sorry, not sorry, bucko. You chose to work here, I think. Alright, gotcha. Thank you. Alright. Yeah, I guess I wouldn't... Really, whoops, that's the wrong dance transformation. I guess I wouldn't really be able to enjoy the song anyway, because I'm constantly transforming and attacking enemies. Anyway, here we go. Here's the pot that I wanted to destroy. Yeah, I'll take that. Thank you. May as well just be the monkey for this next part. Bada bing, bada boom. Here is the bat transformation. I'll take that. Thank you. Now I'm just one transformation away from having all of them, and that's the spider dance. Alright, and I know that when I first played this game, and when I first got the transformation, I didn't quite know how to leave this area. Now I do. So there we go. That embarrassment is now gone. Back to the harpy. Back to flying through this level. And yeah, I'll have to come back to this level again anyway, because there's a thing at the top of this level that requires me to have the spider dance. I guess I could get through it with the harpy, but having the spider will make it a lot easier. So I'll have to come back here. It's fine. Get me some gator steaks. Come on. Thank you. Alright, so that's two. I might want to get a third one just in case, because sometimes I eat them to heal my own health. Okay. Over here. Yep. Can't, nope, got some more magic. That's a relief. I was just about to go and see if I could find more. Will this have magic? No, it'll have a heart, but I'll take that too. Alright, come here, you. I just have to hit you with the final hit of the fireball, and then I can turn you into a delicious gator steak. Thank you. That ought to do it. Alright, I'm low on magic. Unless this gives me magic, which it will not. Ah, and now I'm about to be low on hearts. Darn it all. Come on. Alright, well that gave me a heart. Come on. Nope, this isn't going to work. Alright, you know what? Darn it. I don't even want a gator steak out of you. Oh, but I can talk to you. I don't think I'm going to have enough money for anything. And while I could save my money, I think what I'll do for the meantime is I'll buy some Mega Potions because those will be useful for later. And like I keep saying, since I'll have to come back here later anyway, that's when I'll buy the Warp Dance, that's when I'll buy the Revive Dance, that's when I'll buy the Gem Pot Dance, the Obliterate Dance, the Blobfish Dance. I'll get all of them. I have to come back here. It's fine. It's not a big deal. It's a Shantae game, so I mean, it's kind of the norm to go back and forth. So is that okay with everybody? Yes, sure, I hope so. Slide segment, yes! Okay, now thankfully, there are no collectibles here. Whoops, I did not mean to do that. There are no collectibles here, but there are oranges and some gems. So I'm gonna do my best to get the gems and get a few oranges. Now I got that orange, but there's usually an orange on this level that I wind up missing, and I'm probably gonna miss it. Yep, there it is. <laughs> just when I was talking about it, just when I was ready for it, I still missed it. I still missed it. Shame on me, right? Shame on me. Okay, whatever. Let's just keep it going. Keep up that pressure. Keep up that pace. Yep. Keep on putting on a smiley face. Jump over these barrels. Jump over these counterfeit mermaids. Uh, put an end to this das to these dastardly charades. There you go, mermaids and charades. Kind of rhymes. I, I guess they do rhyme. I just didn't make a good sentence enough for. It's a rhyme properly, I guess. I don't know. I'm jumping over barrels. Can you forgive me? There we go. Another orange! Yeah, I got that one. Yeah. Despite all of my terrible rhymes and poetry, I was still able to notice when, a, when an orange appeared on the slide. And now I'm just going to go ahead and enjoy the rest of the ride. And then I shall head to the bottom, where I shall see tides. And then I will go ahead and put forth the laws they must abide. They being the villains of this wonderful game. And now I've got some evil people that I must tame. Yeah! Okay, cool. Don't want the rhyming. Alright, now I gotta fight the mermaid boss. Now this is another boss that requires me to climb things, but I think with the harpy talon, and just the harpy transformation in general, I can just fly to the top and spam my talons and attack and win, right? So I should be able to do this boss in like a minute. Alright. Oh yeah, Bolo, you're here. I kind of forgot about all this. Okay. And then we gotta fight the Techno Baron, is that what his name is? You're the Techno Baron? Yeah, you're the Techno Baron. I mean, everyone remembers Risky Boots because there was an entire game based off of her, but these other villains, I kinda know them. Kinda forget about them. Okay, cool, now I gotta fight the Giga Mermaid! Hello! Yes, 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 you're a pretty sight to behold, so enjoy it for about 30 seconds because that's how long it's gonna take for me to defeat you. 
Yay! Okay, so let's start with the bottom one. Since I'm already down here. Bada bing, bada boom. I'll take it. Thank you. Huzzah. Alright, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do things. It'll be great. Yeah. Okay. Destroy all these. Boom. Okay, and then oh, I said I wanted to use the Harpy Talons. Maybe I'll use that when I go to the other side. Alright, maybe I'm just gonna run to the other side. But this boss is a second phase, and the Harpy Talons will definitely be useful there. Ah. Okay, yeah, you know what? We're, we're using the Harpy stuff. We're doing this. We're doing things. We're doing things! Alright, there we go. You know, what does this take? Like 30, 30 damage or something like that? Well, this should do it! Bada bing, bada boom! First phase of the Giga Mermaid boss fight is now over! So I'll take all those. Thank you. We good? Are we good? Are we set? Are we safe to go? Alright, now the second phase I think should be even quicker than the first phase because I can just hover in one place with the Harpy Talent and just hit the jewel on her head. Okay. Good? Alright, let's do it! Oops, that's that's not what I wanted to do. I just hit A to skip the tax not to use the power up. Uh, this is gonna hurt. Alright, so I'm already screwing things up! But hey, now I'm prepared! Now I can remember how this boss fight is supposed to go! Alright, we good? Are we safe? Alright, where you be? Hi! Bada bing bada boom, just spam this. Just just spam it. Just just keep spamming it. See, we're already done. We are already done. That's hero mode in a nutshell, folks. That's probably gonna be the phrase that I use throughout this hero mode walkthrough. We're already done. And not even worried. And this power up is broken. Alright, well, there we go. Techno Baron's done. I don't have to go through a genie realm thing because I already have the transformation of the crab or whatever, so. I didn't do that. That was part of the cutscene. Hello, beautiful mermaids. Are we good? We're good. Okay. So that's two levels for this part. And while I could keep playing more, there are other things that I have to work on. And I imagine this is a sufficient length for a video anyway. So next time, I'm going to do some more side quest stuff. I'm going to go ahead and unlock the next level, the desert level, the terror town. Oh, man, I'm terrible. I'll probably do Cape Crustacean in the next part as well, depending on how things go. <sighs> yeah, and then I should get some more dance transformation power-ups and just more power-ups in general And then I should just be able to breeze through hero mode. No problem Yeah, I'm still estimating three or four parts for hero mode, and then I'll be done with it all Should be fun. I am going for 100% and we'll see if there's an incentive to do so but for now Let's get through this text. Let me properly get to a nice conclusion for this video. All right So that wraps up this part of Shantae, Half Genie Hero, and I'd like to thank you all for watching See you all next time in the next part when I do some more side quest stuff, when I collect some more items, and when I get through the rest of Hero Mode. At least get through more of Hero Mode. Probably not going to get through the rest of it in the next part, but for the next two or three parts, I'll get through it, and it'll be fun. Alright. Thank you all for watching. Bye bye humans Whoosh!